Hello future doctors. I am Mr. Ujjal Kanti Roy, biology faculty, medical mentor and founder and director of The Engineers Gurukul, which is a 15th year running institution. Students, this video is specially for those students who are aspiring for medical entrance examination called NEET examination. Students, you are going to acknowledge the fact that in this particular NEET examination, close to 12 lakhs of students, they are going to compete for only 30,000 government seats in India. So, it's very common, it's very normal if you think about the intensity of competition in this examination. Today, I'm here in front of you to help those completely aspiring towards medical, which is coming from deep in the inner core. I'm here going to help you about how to crack in this particular examination. First rule is, see, being biology faculty, my intention always is going to be to help you to get 350 out of 360 bucks. But how to get this? The first thing, which is very important, is in class 11, you have got 22 chapters. And in class 12, in biology, you have got 16 chapters. So in total, you have got 38 chapters to complete. But mind you, how to complete these 38 chapters? You have got a book called NCRT, which I, read. I call it as the Gita for all medical aspirants. So you have to read line by line, word by word of this Gita thoroughly. Not even line by line, word by word of it, but also the diagram portion of it. You have to practice all the diagram. And it's, you have to do a very smart job. And that is, 11 and 12 book together. How many diagrams are there? Just, just, if you just count them, how many diagrams are there? Just what you have to do is, you have to draw those diagrams with the labeling. Because in neat examination, what they can do is they can ask question from they can they can ask question from the diagram they can just take that particular and copy paste it and they will ask you from the labeling students how many of us out there are really going to be interested about the diagrams and mind you this examination is not selection test it's an elimination test out of 12 lakh students, 11 lakh, 70,000 students are being eliminated. So what are the areas where they can eliminate you is those areas which you consider not that important. They are going to ask questions from there. So, and think about the, the table that has been given in NCRT book. All those tables, if you count from class 11 and 12, in that particular Gita called NCRT, how many tables are being given? They will ask questions from tables. Now, this is one. So, at least before you sit for the NEET examination, you have to read line by line of that book at least for 15 to 20 times. If you ask all those seniors whom you have seen to be a doctor right now, they are studying out there in medical colleges. You ask them, they are going to say the same thing that go by life by line of NCRT. Even I recommend all those ISC students to buy this NCRT book so that they normally study a very big book for class 11 and 12. But I recommend them to always go for NCRT book and read learn by line of it. This is not rule number one. So you have to study thoroughly about NCRT book. What's rule number two? Normally this examination is having MCQ questions, multiple choice questions. And remember, in multiple choice questions, if this is a question, there are four options in every question. And you know what? There is a concept that every other students, the moment 
a question comes in front of them, what comes straight away in their mind is to find out the correct answer, which among these four is going to be the correct answer. But mind you, I'm going to change this notion a little bit and I'm going to suggest you to not to find the correct answer but to find the best answer. Because all these options, four options, is having some, some category. And the category is, one of the option is 20% correct. Other option, second option number B is 40% correct. Uh, option number C is 60% correct. And option D is 80% correct. So what you are finding out, correct answer or the best answer? You will find out the best answer and that is D. But how to, how to zero on into one particular option? First rule is, how to go for an MCQ question? Rule number one is, Rule of elimination. Rule of elimination. And what is that? Students, you have to eliminate two out of four. Which cannot be the answer. Which two cannot be the answer. So you have to strike off the first two. Even if you know the answer, have this particular type of practice to eliminate two. So you, the moment you have eliminated, you have been able to eliminate two, you are left up with two options. So what is the chance of getting one answer correct? What is the chance of making, taking one particular option correctly is 50%. Now, what is the second rule? The rule is box in a box concept. Box in a box concept. What is this? A smaller box is presenting a bigger box. And what is, which one is the answer? A smaller box is presenting a bigger box. So this is a smaller box and this is a bigger box. A smaller box is presenting a bigger box. Say the bigger box is C and the smaller box is D. How it is possible? Say for example, if one of my, and let me give you one quick instance. If my friends calls me in the evening, late in the, late in the evening, yes, Mr. Roy. Yes, so John, where are you right now? If I, if I, um, I answered, I'm there inside the mosquito net. So, this has been specific, and when I'm saying I'm inside the mosquito net, that I'm being very much specific about my presence, where if I, I would have said, I'm at home, my friend who was in a mode of, you know, conversing, chatting he could have asked me okay at home which room study room drawing room bedroom which room but i've answered it already the no question comes up after this when i've answered that i'm inside i'm present inside the mosquito net that means i have also answered another answer to the question called where in which room i have already said it in the bedroom so mind you which one is more specific? If I say I am inside the mosquito net, it's going to be much more specific than saying I am at home. So D already suffices. C, that is which one? D is the smaller box and C is the bigger box. My dear students, you have to practice the same thing while solving biology questions. See, you cannot spend a lot of time in just grabbing the knowledge because ultimately you have to use it knowledge is power when we use it so you have to use your knowledge and you have to practice it practice this box in a box concept because majority of the students they come out with this answer and they ultimately and they are very, very much confident when they come out of the of the examination hall when being asked how was the exam they say very good and ultimately when they go home and check it again, they find it, it's the better answer was D. So students, all these years, the lot of the students, they got, they got chance into medicals. And mind you, they have followed this particular concept of box in a box concept. The second concept is a box in a box concept, which ultimately helps you to make your career in medicals. Students, if you like this particular video, like, share and subscribe 
and press the bell icon for further notifications. If you have any query, you can ask me in the comment section. Very soon I will be coming up with the next videos. Thank you.